Hello and welcome to something different and something new. Uh, what you see in front of you is a game called The Isle, which is basically, I would say it is a dinosaur survival game slash dinosaur roleplay game, I guess? It is simulation, dinosaur simulation game, um, where you go around and, well, you're a dinosaur and you have to survive. Um, the game is in early access, so it is under development, um, so there are bugs and stuff like that. Um, now you may ask, why are you making a series in this? Well, first off, it's an okay cool game. I will say, it is an okay cool game and I think it could be fun to record and also fun uh, to watch. But not only that, um, I have, for a, a couple weeks back, I, together with my um, with my very good friend Atlantis, uh, you may have seen me do some stuff with her in the past, she also has a channel, um, we got together and we decided to start our own server in this, basically. And that is kind of why I'm making this series, because I'm hoping that some of you will find it interesting, and the server is quite new, so it could use some new players, basically. Um, so that would be really cool. I'm just going to be playing a little bit um, on the server today, I uh, and yeah. We're just gonna have some fun and I'm gonna talk a little bit about the server itself. So if you're brand new to this, basically you just click play and then it comes up with the server list. Our server, I will also, I will leave IP, well not IP, I will leave the server name and also uh, a link to the server's Discord where you can see like all the rules and such. Um, but basically you click play and then the server list comes up here and the way you search for them is by server name. Ours is called Red Haven Isle. As you can see there's no players online right now. Um, as I said it is a pretty new server, uh, only a couple of weeks old and uh, yeah that's why. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and have some fun and I encourage you guys to, well if you have the game of course, I'll also leave a link to the game down below in the description. And yeah, come on the server. Uh, the Discord will have rules for the game and also a bunch of other information and such. And a pretty cool community if you uh, need help with the game and such. There are people that play the Isle a lot and yeah, you can get help there as well. Alright, so we are now in the server. As you can see, we have a server message of the day. Can you move that? No. Welcome to Red Haven Isle. All the rules can be found on our Discord server. You can also copy this. Control C and then you can paste it outside of the game. And yeah, hope you'll enjoy your time here. Now I'm already grown up as a Tyrannosaurus Rex, blah blah, I, I, I promise you I cannot pronounce any of these dino names, but I am an admin on here, so I can slay myself and uh, will spawn in as something brand new. So select your faction, faction, as you can see they are working on the game. Uh, humans over here are locked, so you cannot click those. You can choose a herbivore or you can choose a carnivore. I like carnivores. They're cool. Uh, they eat meat. The other ones eat bushes and stuff. Uh, I think I want to be a Utah Raptor. Yes, a Raptor. Confirm. And then you can customize your, uh, your dinosaur here. Um, you can choose a bunch of colors here. I like to go black or as dark as I can. To camouflage myself and then just a detail color here and uh, I have no idea what that is uh, interesting but uh, yeah I have a preset there and I'm gonna click confirm and we're now in the game it, has, it as I said the game is under development it's gonna fix itself it does that sometimes and there we go we are now in all right so here we are uh, if you don't know much about the game, if you click in press insert, uh, you can see your growth here basically, and these are the, your growth stages. This tiny little one down here is if you hatch from an egg, um, but right now I am at UV, so I'm right here. There's a growth stage, and then I believe uh, this is the adult right here. You can see your stamina, this is your food, and this is your water. It also has your location over here, and a bunch of other information. You can also be in a group, so I could invite people to be in my group if I wished. Um, and yeah, it's, it's it's pretty cool. So, as I'm walking here, I can sprint, of course. Some dinos can jump, some can't. And yeah, this is, this is the game. This is the game. It's pretty cool. Why is it flickering like that? Alright, so I have no idea what it actually cost it, but in settings I went back to the main menu and changed everything from medium to high. 
Uh, yeah, I, I don't know which one of these actually made it do that, but uh, we're, we should be good now. We should be good. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully it remains this way. <laughs> it should be. I haven't had that issue before. But, uh, well, as as all that trans transpired, um, as you can see... Wait, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Uh, down here, you can see my food is actually getting lower. As you can see, I'm now at 67%, so I'm going to need to hunt something uh, at some point. And yes, there does spawn AI in the world that you can hunt. You don't need uh, other players to be around for you to, to hunt, so, so that's good. <laughs> I think I even heard one back here, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep going. Uh, your dinosaur can also uh, sniff around to basically get a small compass up. Yeah, there's an AI down there. Uh, the compass here, as you can see, W for West. I'm holding down my Q. N for North, E for East, and S for South. And you can also see water in the world if you're close enough. And you can also see my tracks there. They're glowing yellow. Uh, but I hear an AI down here. So I want to try and get it if I can. Because I'm already quite low on food. You can also do the scent thing while walking. That is also doable. Oh, I see it. You see the movement? Right there. No one else is online, so that is definitely an AI. I have no idea how fast that thing will be able to run. I have no idea if it will defend itself. But I'm running after it. And now it's raining. Oh. Come back here, you. Come back here. And we got it. Is there another thing here? Nope. By the way, I, I'm i using bite by uh, left-clicking my mouse. And now I'm holding E to start eating. Nom nom. You can disable gore as well, I'm pretty, pretty sure in the settings. Uh, gameplay... No? I thought you could. Mm, nope, okay. You can't disable gore, gore apparently. <laughs> and I believe that I am full. I am full indeed. It also seems like it is turning to night time. Looks like water is what I'm gonna be needing next. I'm just gonna leave the body there and uh, head to some water. I believe we might have some in this direction. We're at the beach and we can't drink the salt water. So uh, I'm gonna have to find some water out here somewhere. Alright, I'm a bit further in f in land, I guess it is indeed getting darker. If it gets too dark to your liking, you can enable night vision by pressing N. Should also be noted that you cannot use your sniffing sensors while it's raining. So that's the thing to keep note of. And okay, there's an AI up ahead. Could use some more food, so we might go for that. Um, you can also lay down if you're hurt and such and need to heal. By pressing H, you lay down. Uh, do note that you, it takes a while to get up, so yeah, keep that in mind if you're in combat. You can also crouch to sneak, and if you're crouched long enough, as you see the arrow down here, that means I can get an extra boosted sprint. So that is also a tip for you. Sound cues are a huge thing in this game as well. Should be straight up ahead. Maybe behind the tree.
I see it. It's right up there. You see it moving? Right above the head. Let's crouch. Get a good run. And attack. Come here, big boy. And just start biting it. Get back here. <laughs> get. Get back here. Turning on night vision so it's easier to see. And it's faster than me, of course it is. It's gonna run out of stamina eventually. Oh, it turned back around. Okay, that's, that's, that's great. This is gonna be a long hunt. As you can see, when my night vision is on, I can also see the footprints like this, so that is also handy. Eventually it is also going to bleed out, I believe, if it is bleeding, that is. Uh, my stamina is getting pretty low, though. Resting just a little bit here to hopefully get my stamina up. Of course, that is going to allow the the the, the prey to <laughs> get their stamina back up as well. But it shouldn't stray far from this place. Again, I can follow the footsteps here with my night vision pretty well. Okay, let's <laughs> up here. I believe you can like confirm that you hit it when it says a sound like it just did now. So that is a good sign. I probably picked the worst thing for me to hunt as a Jewy. Wait, it's coming back. Will it walk right, right into me? Nope. <laughs> it will not. I need more stamina. I'm gonna stay on it though until I kill it, because now my hunger is pretty low. If I go out now, I might not get something else in time. I see it moving up there. By the bush. Look at the night sky as well. That's pretty beautiful. Anyway. What's not going to be beautiful is me killing this thing. I did definitely hit it. And it's out of breath, I think. Yeah, it's out of breath. This is where we're getting it. It's out of stamina. So it's going to run a little bit. And I'm just going to keep biting it. Come on. Die already. It's a big fella compared to me, so... <laughs> I'm pretty tough skin. We gotta get it now. Right there, it got completely out of stamina, so that's something. Finally. And we eat. Hey. Also, it stopped raining, so now we might actually be able to locate some water. That's good. Am I really full already? I'm, I might remember the body here. Where do we have water? I don't see any water. Nope, right there. The white line over there? Yeah, that's water. No one else is on line, so I shouldn't need to worry about too much trouble. I'm just resting here to get some more stamina. The water is 
straight ahead, but uh, while I'm just resting here, I can talk a little bit more about this server in particular. If you join the Discord server, you will be able to f find a lot more information and such. But basically, um, we have a currency, quote unquote, called we call DNA points. Basically, if you support the server, you get rewarded with DNA points. You can then uh, use these DNA points to get like grows. So if I wanted to grow this fella all the way up to adult, I could do that if I had DNA points. Um, I could also uh, do what is called injecting. Uh, as you saw with the list where I picked the Utah amongst a bunch of other carnivores, there is uh, a bunch of dinos that is not in that specific list. Also, uh, AI, so you can choose to spawn in as an AI, so you can get what is called injections uh, from DNA points as well. And uh, that is something we have as well in the Discord server. So if you join it, you will be able to see uh, all that information on how to and all that stuff, so I don't have to explain it all. <laughs> join the Discord server so and check it out. Link will be down in the description. Anyways, let me get to some water. I should also point out that when I press escape here, uh, we have these buttons here and we have the growth button right here and it will show you how close you are to be able to grow to the next uh, grow stage. And as you can see, there's a counter here from logout. Um, if you do not wait for this counter until to log out, um, basically, I believe after five minutes, your character will be deleted. So. Uh, your body will be deleted basically. Uh, you have to wait those 30 seconds in order to do what is called save logging, which is where it saves your character and your position and such. Um, that is also to prevent people from logging out mid, mid combat, which of course isn't allowed. So that is a bit of a punishment on that front as well. Speaking of which, you can see all rules and such in the Discord server as well. Again, link down below. Alright, the water should be up here somewhere. Where's my water even at? It's at like 33%. Cool. That's pretty low. Anyways, here we are. It is the same as eating. Point to the water and just pull down E. And you're gonna start drinking and see that thirst drop uh, starting to fill up. And without night vision, after doing this, the, the sniff sensing thing, the water looks extremely cool. Now for this one, you will actually have to look inside your character to see if you're full on water or not, because it may not show you. I'm actually gonna head back here uh, the same way as I came, because I wanna see if my body is still there that I killed the thing, because then that would be an ideal place to just uh, put myself down and eat, since it's pretty close to the water as well, and just rest for stamina, but also to, uh, to just sit there and grow myself. All right, I tried going back. I tried, but uh, I have not been able to locate the, the thing that I killed. Um, yeah, that that's annoying, but I just can't find out where it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run back to the water, which is in this direction-ish, unless I can kill something right here. Ah, you see those gold right there? That's not my footprints. At least I don't think so. Anyways, I'm gonna head to the water. It's in this, this direction over here. Oh, there it is. Get back here. Get back here. I need food. Got it. <laughs> there we go. And eat up. Nom nom. Alright, I am now at the water hole again. In fact, let me just uh, get a slip of water. But I'm at the water hole again, I'm just gonna rest by the tree, wait for morning, and then we will uh, call it an episode. So let's wait for morning time and I'll be right back. All right, it is now morning here and I am going to call it an episode. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm gonna do some more videos on here, so be sure to check out the server, go ahead and join the Discord, Join the server here and for the future I'm going to announce in the Discord when I'm actually jumping on to record on here. Uh, so be sure to be there as well. I should probably know, let you know that you can actually zoom in on your character by using the mouse wheel. So scroll wheel. So yeah, you know that too. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna call it good here. I'm probably gonna 
sit here and grow a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Leave a like if you really enjoyed and want to see more. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. And uh, goodbye. Can, can I change perspective with this thing? Oh, ah, yes. There we go. I can see myself. There we go. <laughs> well, with one eye anyway. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Mm, goodbye. Ding, 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 ding,